Today, I wanna to show you how you could both change and also highlight your mouse cursor on Windows 11. This makes it a lot easier for your audience to follow along when you're presenting something. This is why I highlight my mouse cursor in all of my tutorial videos. You can change the pointer style. For example, you could go from the standard white and you could shift it to black. You can invert it and you can even choose a color for your cursor. Here, I could even change the size of my cursor and look how big I can make it. And we all know what they say about men with large cursors. We're geeks, we know Windows settings very well. With third-party tools, we can even focus on the mouse, we can highlight clicks, and we could even persistently highlight the mouse. You probably never imagined that there were so many ways that you can customize your mouse. All right, let's check this out. We're going to start with the customizations that you can make without needing to install any third-party tools. On your desktop, go down to the search icon, click on that, and then type in mouse pointer style. Click on the best match option. Here, I can adjust the style of my mouse cursor. Right now, it's set to the default white cursor. Here, I can click to change it to a black cursor. I can also invert it. And at the very end, I can choose whatever color I want for my cursor. When I click on this, I see some recommended colors. These ones tend to look pretty nice. But here, I can also customize it and I can choose any color that my heart desires. Down below, I can also adjust the size of my cursor. And whoa, look how big I can make it. For a cursor that large, I would also expect the physical mouse to be equally large. For all of my tutorial videos, I increase the size of my cursor just to make it a little bit easier to follow along. For additional settings at the bottom, click on mouse and then additional mouse settings. This opens up the dreaded second control panel in Windows. Microsoft still hasn't been able to get rid of it, maybe someday. Here, let's click on pointer options and we have a few more controls. Here I can turn on a mouse trail and when I turn that on, we have a nice trail behind my cursor. At the very bottom, I can also toggle this on. So when I press the control key, it'll help me find my mouse. It adds this nice sonar effect. These are all of the different ways that you can customize your mouse cursor directly in Windows. Next, I wanna show you some additional tools that you can install that give you even more control over your cursor. The first one that we're going to try is called Power Toys. This is a tool developed by Microsoft that gives you more control over your mouse along with many other utilities. To get this, open up the Microsoft Store on your computer and then search for Power Toys. Next, click on Install. Once you finish installing, you'll see a tool that looks like this. And once again, Power Toys brings lots of additional functionality to Windows. For example, you get a color picker you can customize all of your Windows snap zones, and you even get a universal mute button for your conference calls. Some really nice functionality. Let's click over on the left-hand side on mouse utilities. At the very top, we have the first mouse utility called Find My Mouse, and this will help both you and your audience find your mouse. Here, I'll make sure to toggle it on. Down below, you can also customize the appearance and the behaviors. I'll stick with the defaults. When I press the control key twice, look at that, I can now find my mouse. This is a really nice way to bring attention to where your mouse cursor is pointing. Next up, there's also a mouse highlighter. Here, I'll make sure to turn it on and I'll press the shortcut key to activate it. When I press my left mouse button, here you'll see it highlight, and when I press my right mouse button, here again you'll see it highlight. Now I can customize the appearance and the behaviors here as well. Now unfortunately, it only highlights your mouse on click, so it doesn't persistently or leave a constant highlight on your mouse. There is a feature request with the development team to add that functionality, but as of the filming of this video, it's not yet available. If you want the highlight to persist around your mouse cursor, there is an excellent tool called Cursor Highlighter made by Professor Luc Boisvert. 
To get it, I've included a link up above and also down below in the description. Once you land on this site, you'll need to download two separate items. First, you'll need to install a program called AutoHotKey. Then you'll also need to download an AHK file. Once you finish downloading and installing, double click on the AHK file. And look at that, my mouse is now highlighted. That's pretty cool. Down in the bottom right hand corner in the system tray, you'll see a new icon for the cursor highlighter app. If you right click on that, you'll see all different settings that you can configure. Let's click into settings. Within settings, I can change the highlight type. I could even choose the highlight color, the size, what happens on left click versus what happens on right click. And I can even configure hotkeys to toggle this on or off. All right, well, those are all of the different ways that you can customize your mouse in Windows 11. If you'd like to request a video for this channel, feel free to use the Google form in the description. To watch more videos like this, please consider subscribing. All right, I'll see you next time.